Fellas, the quality of your life is in direct relation to the quality of women that you choose to entertain. I'm going to say that one more time. The quality of your life is in direct relation to the quality of women you choose to entertain. If you attend, if you entertain good quality women, women with something to lose, good women with good morals, your life is going to be good. They're going to add to your life and add value to your life and that's going to help you get to where you need to be and it's going to help you prosper. Trust me, if you entertain low quality, low vibrational women who like street dudes, who hood rats, and thoughts if you entertain women like that your life is going to be shit the quality of your life is going to be shit when i figured that out my life changed for the better and i was never really a guy who liked like super low vibrational women like that anyway but i hit them you know i hit them every now and again but you know throughout my life i've had women in my life you know women i chose as girlfriends or whatever that was very low like low quality right i was a low quality dude too so let me not act like i was be on some high horse but my life was shit when i was dealing with women like that my life was shit period you see what i'm saying if you hang around low quality women they are liabilities low quality women are liabilities high quality women y'all always talk this high value shit Fuck high value I don't want no high value woman. Y'all talk, I want a high value woman. High value, f that high value shit. Give me a high quality woman any day because that adds to my life. I like a good life. And the people that you entertain add to your life if they ask that. I want a high quality woman that's an asset to my life. If you entertain that, you're going to have a good life. If you entertain low hanging fruit, uh, shitty hood rat thoughts street women women who like to be in clubs strippers drug addicts you're gonna have a shitty life like my man the, the chick a stripper he he she going to his house calling him fucking his job up cursing his mama out and shit beating him up in public and shit this the type of shit you deal with when you deal with low quality women you end up in jail you end up in the news you end up dead they set you up to rob you they lie on you they lie and say this it's just bad bro they take away from you they drain you they energy vampires stay away from women like that if you want a good quality life don't entertain women like that you see what I'm saying? And Tory Lanez, this whole show, we done damn near forgot about Tory Lanez ass. But, you know, all of these lessons come from that. This whole show, right, is about Tory Lanez or whatever. Now, look at the quality of women that he was hanging around that night. <clears throat> and look where he at. That's what happens when you hang around low quality women. Look at Tory Lanez. Look at the quality of women that he was entertaining. Women who are out in the streets getting drunk, getting high, fucking everything that move. That's not quality. And this is no shot at Megan Thee Stallion and I don't even know her. It ain't personal. That's not a quality person. A person that gets sloppy drunk, that they can't remember, fighting in the streets with their friends, fucking her homegirl's man, fucking the, fucking the, the, the men that her homegirls is and sharing dick and all that drinking thotting it up that's not good quality why are you do you have these type of women in your mix look where you at bro if you if you choose if, if you choose to hang around low quality low vibrational bitches that's the type of shit that happens to you you know how many dudes i know that died trying to break up some hoes fighting low quality just fighting in the streets and they trying to break it up and somebody starts shooting and they get hit. You see what I'm saying? From hanging with low quality bitches that's in the streets fighting. I don't even want no bitch that know how to fight or that'll fight. Now, ugh. Or that get sloppy drunk like that. That's at the party turning up and shit. Why are you round bitches like that? Let them hoes be, do their own thing and let them whisk away in, in misery. We got to stop dealing with women like that. We have to stop entertaining. It, even stop f***ing women like that. That's turning up. When you see them, they pouring alcohol and drinking a whole half a bottle and got their mouth open, you know, on some thought shit, pouring the alcohol in their mouth, throwing back shots, all on the couch twerking. Why are we entertaining women like that? But then you surprised when you end up in f***ing jail. 
because two women like that clash and you in the fucking middle of it, drunk with them. The quality of your life is in directly direct relation to the type of women, the quality of women that you entertain. Why would you hang around drunk thighs, low quality women? Why would you hang around a woman who would sleep with her friend's man? I would if 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 I knew a woman, if I had a friend homegirl, right, and I knew that she fucked her best friend's man, I wouldn't hang around her no more. She's not a quality person. She don't have morals. I don't need her to bite me next. I don't need to be in none of her bullshit. You guys have to be mindful of who you letting around you. Be mindful of the women that you letting around you, bro. We only want high quality women over here. That's what we going into tw uh, 2023, fellas. We want high quality. One thing that I do, motherfuckers talk that shit about Cardi B. Motherfuckers talk that shit about Cardi B. She used to live a shitty life, but she cleaned her shit up. And I gotta, I gotta give her respect for that. She cleaned her shit up. And she took her shit to the next level. And the man that she with took his shit to the next level. You understand what I'm saying? Get around good quality people. Yeah, people come from bad places. I've come from a bad place. And you don't, you know, it's, it, I'm not going to say it's not right to condemn somebody to hell because they used to make poor choices. And I've even seen comments say shit like, oh, once you guys say shit about women who live past lives or whatever, say, oh, once you like that, they're going to always be like that. That's not true. I was a, cr listen, I know I look innocent. I know I look boyish and all that shit. I was, a, I was on some other shit before this. Before this YouTube shit, well, let's see. I started YouTube in 2018. So let's just say for the better part of four, five years, I was chilling. But before then, four years before, four, five years before I started YouTube, I was on some whole other shit. I was on some whole other shit. I was on some demon time back then. I was on some whole other shit. And so I said that to say people can change. I'm not like that no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't even I don't even have it in me to be like that more. I don't have it in me the capacity to even do the wrong shit. I will fucking This lady gave me uh I think I talked about this before on the um on the podcast before. This lady, I went to get um a case for my phone. I went to get something for my to my phone for my phone and the lady at the Apple store gave me an extra case on accident. The Apple store is 45 minutes from my house. I took the case home and I drove it all the way back. That's how much of a saint and a good boy that I am right now. I'm telling you, before this shit, I was on some whole other shit. People can change, right? And I said that to say, like, you see women like Cardi B. You can tell she completely changed her shit. She don't hang out with them stupid fools no more. She don't fucking be on Instagram talking dumb shit no more. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know if that's her or her man, but both of them together have seemed to elevate it. You want to be around people like that. You see what I'm saying? When Jay-Z got with Beyonce and vice versa, they fucking elevated. When Jay-Z got, listen, people talk that shit about Jay-Z for leaving him in the dust like that. But had Jay-Z, all them niggas around him was junkies and alcoholists. I ain't talking about Dame, but everybody else. Because if you look at them now, you'll see what they own. Drug addicts and all type of shit. And I'm talking about the artists, not, not his closest personal friends. But the people that he was looking after and the people that he was associating himself with was headed down the wrong, going to jail for guns and shooting motherfuckers and shit like that. He had to, he had to separate himself from that. He stopped fucking with weird hoes and all type of shit, and he elevated. And the woman that he was with elevated, and they bounced off of each other. And look at both of them now. You got to separate yourself from that bullshit and only have high-quality asset people in your life, only high-quality women. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, Tory Lanez, the quality of your life is in direct relation to the type of women that you choose to entertain. Choose to entertain, Tory Lanez.